Lisa Patterson died on July 2nd. Since then, the Wabash County prosecutor has called in a grand jury to hear evidence against her husband. News Channel 15 was the only local station on the scene the day Lisa died. Our own Megan Stemble continues to follow this story closely, and she joins us now in News Control after talking to Lisa's father earlier today. Megan? Yeah, when I spoke to Jerry Young, he told me that his daughter Lisa was the happiest she'd ever been in the time that preceded her death. Now, Young and the rest of Lisa's family, they're just trying to cope as best they can with so few answers as to what happened the day Lisa died. The Wabash County Sheriff said from day one that he hoped Lisa Pattison's death was accidental, but that he was treating it as though it was not. Pattison's husband, Scott, told police he tried to get Lisa to a hospital after he'd found her blue and unresponsive on a weight bench in their home. The story didn't add up to Lisa's father, Jerry Young. I was surprised, and especially the amount of weight that, uh, I mean, she's not fragile, but she was sure not a weightlifter. Young says Lisa was very creative, a motivated marketing professional, and more than anything, a loving mother to her 18-year-old son. He'll now finish his last year of high school out of state with his aunt, according to Young. I think they're totally in shock. It's just totally upside down for him in a way, and he's dealing with it the best he can. A grand jury will hear evidence against Scott Pattison in Lisa's death. Young says the two had their problems, but if anything major was going on, Lisa kept it to herself. Now Young hopes the grand jury proceedings and the work of local police can bring them closure. It's hard enough for a uh, father and mother to lose their child. The worst part is not knowing you know, what happened to that child. The, the unknown is what kills you. A grand jury will take up this case one week from today. If you would like to hear more from Lisa Pattison's father, you can. We've put bonus clips of his interview on our website, wayne.com. Reporting live in News Control, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.